work, so we have all the Indians. Really? Well, we can make it. So, who wants to go first? Wait, you missed there. She just did the okay state reps for the talk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm really honored to be able to be part of this march. I uh, inspired last year when we set out from Manchester and to see this kind of welcome and to see this kind of solidarity is inspiring. <laughs> We march for immigrant justice, but I also want to acknowledge that we stand on ground where before there were immigrants, there were people who were living here. And I want to honor the indigenous people from this area. And I also can't help but note that this year we mark uh, an anniversary of 400 years of people whose immigration to this country came in the form of bondage through the middle passage and were brought here to help to be indentured, to be slaves, to build the wealth of this nation. As, a, as someone who comes from the European immigration wave, I'm a direct descendant of I'm going to more of the great hunger. My great great grandfather came to Candia in 1847 in the in, in, and is part of a constant wave of people who have come to this area, to this land, to this, what we call a state, to help perfect our democracy, to help build the society that where we can all celebrate and share in. And as we march now to Dover to stand in solidarity with another group of, of immigrants who are being held by ICE in the Stratford County Jail, I want us to remember our own individual pasts. I want us to stand in solidarity with them, knowing that as we march step by step, we're in solidarity with them and we're also helping to build the beloved community that we all want to be. Thank you. Thank you.